Hey guys, welcome to BOHS. Um, if you are watching this video, you are probably taking one of my science classes. I'm Mrs. Westfall, and I just wanted to get on quick, give you guys a, an introduction to the school, to Schoology, to your classes, try and answer any questions and concerns you have right off the bat. Um, bear with me. Please make sure you're, you watch this entire video as it's going to have some pretty important information. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. When you first open your class, it's going to look something like this. Now, everybody's class is going to be a little bit different, right, depending on what course you're taking. Um, it's actually probably going to look more similar to this. This is a class that I'm in rather than teaching, but this is one that I'm teaching, okay? The very first thing I want you to recognize is that when you open your class, it goes to updates. Don't change this. You need to stay at the updates because that's how I communicate all of the major class information to you, okay? You'll see I'll either leave it just like this or I'm gonna send you newsletters. Now I wanna click on one of these other newsletters um, to show you kind of what it's gonna look like first. <clears throat> when you get to this, click on the actual newsletter. It's gonna give you this redirect notice. You can either wait or you can hit continue, okay? It'll open up this fun little newsletter for you. You need to read all of this information at the beginning. It's very, very, very important that you check this stuff. You can see here that I've had information about finals week in there, um, different links. Make sure you're reading through those. Now, below that, you don't have to read through all of this. Just find your specific class, and it'll, it'll give you specific information, right? Um, so you'll see I have all my classes listed. Just find the one that you are part of, okay? Make sure you open those. I can't cannot stress that enough. Please make sure you're opening those, okay? So the updates are the very first thing you'll see. Hopefully that's where you found this video. If not, you probably found it in the welcome folder. Which brings us to our next thing. When you need to get to your materials, it's right here. Now, again, this is my teacher view, okay? So it looks a little bit different than your view does. Yours will look more like this, okay? And you can see, this is, like I said, this is a class that I was, that I was taking. Um, you can see my, my green check mark here. That's a very important little check mark. Everything in the class must be done in order. So that means you have to start here. It has to have the green check mark before you can move on. I have a lot of students that, are, that call me in, Mrs. Westville, why can't I do my first assignment? Well, you haven't even read the material yet. Okay, so make sure you're looking and going in order of the class. With that being said, I wanna to talk to you guys specifically about some of these lessons. Now, in some of my classes, these lessons are graded. They will show up in your grade book as like week two, lesson one, or W2, L1. You have to answer these questions or you will get zeros on these assignments and it will affect your grade. Okay, so when you're going through, as you're reading through here, you're gonna find things like this comprehension check right here. You have to answer these questions. If you don't answer the questions, you'll get a zero for that um, lesson and it will count against you in the grade book. So make sure that you are answering those questions, okay? Um, now, you really, really, really wanna stay on pace, okay? It's perfectly fine to work ahead of time, but you need to stay on pace. You need to actually be getting your weeks done, right? So this week, you'll complete week one, okay? And the next week, you'll comp complete week two, so on and so forth. Now, in a normal trimester, you have 12 weeks. If you're taking a summer course, there's only eight. Make sure you are completing those weeks within that week. If we're in a normal school year, <clears throat> so let's say that it is now week three, all right? We're into the third week of the trimester. If you have not completed week two by Wednesday of week three, all of these assignments get marked zero. You get an absence for that week. If you get six absences, you start getting an LCA, which is a loss of credit due to absences. I have a whole thing about it in the welcome folder you need to read through. If that happens, you're gonna start owing us time or else you don't get your you don't get the credit. So please, please, please stay on pace. If you get stuck, you have got to reach out to me. I can't stress that enough. If you're confused on assignment or you aren't sure where to go or you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. You can email me here through Schoology. You can email me through your normal school, through your D93 email, or you can text my phone number that I've, that I've listed in my contact, okay? Don't stay stuck, please, I'm begging you. Now, I wanna switch back to this one for a minute and show you kind of your grades. This is where you're gonna find your grades. So on your Schoology, these are the three tabs you need to make sure you know where they are. 
these two don't really do much for you. But grades, your overall grade will be up here, and then it's broken down by assessments, assignments, final exam, pretest, post-test, projects. Okay, and you'll notice right along here, all of this feedback that my teacher has given me. Please read your feedback. Anytime you get any, really I try to leave feedback on everything, but especially if you don't get 100% on it, this is where I'll tell you what's happening. Now, with that being said, when you're in here, this is what it kind of looks like, right? Please don't respond here. I don't get a notification that you've responded here. And I have, on average, 150 students. I don't go back through every, every assignment to check for responses. If I've left you feedback that you want to respond to, email me, text me, send me an email through school. You don't respond right here, okay? Um, the other part of that is just to make sure that as you're looking at your grades, if there's a one, one out of something, chances are you didn't share it with me and I've left you a video on how to share stuff. If you don't give me access, I can't help you out. Now, along with sharing, I need you to give me edit access so that I can highlight and make comments on your actual Google document, okay? Um, check for ones. Oh, submitting blank assignments. Guys, I will sometimes have students think, oh, I'm supposed to submit this work or I get an absence. So I'm just going to sub submit everything for the week blank and then she won't give me an absence. No, you will still get an absence. If there is a zero, you either didn't get any answers right or you submitted it blank. Okay. If you submit it blank, it will still count towards your absences. Do not submit work blank unless you and I have discussed something and you're trying to move forward and then we can talk about it. Okay. Now, last couple things really quick. That's kind of my introduction for Schoology. You can also find your courses up here. You can rearrange these if you come over here to my courses. Um, uh, reorder courses. That'll bring you to that page. You can come down here and drag and drop and all over the place. Okay, so just get as organized as you can so that it gives you the best opportunity to succeed in this Schoology class. I will contact you either by email, by Schoology email, or by texting if you've given me your phone number. I just can't stress enough to stay on pace and to reach out if you need help. Ask for help if you need it. I am more than happy to help. That's what I'm here for. I want to talk to you guys. I want to get to know you guys. I want to help. Okay. Now, what you really don't want to do is wait till finals week to ask me for help in week two. I'll still help you, but it's not going to be as good a help as I could give you in week two. So please stay on pace. Um, cheating is absolutely not allowed. Do not copy and paste from Google, you guys. I can't tell you how often I get a presentation where the definition is copied and pasted directly from Google. If you don't understand the word, don't use it because I'll know you don't know what you're talking about, okay? This is a science class. There's a lot of terms that we'll learn. You don't have to use big terms that I don't use in my courses, okay? Um, science can get a little bit confusing sometimes with those um, different words, but you've got this, all right? Let me know if you guys need any help, and I hope that you are in, will enjoy your trimester.